Right next to the little triangle on the bottom is the X there. It's almost like it's almost grayed out. You click there, and this is our expansion browser. It's direct access, right? So we see we have MPC drum content. We have MPC loop library, essential instruments. We have hybrid, and we have the vault. Whoa. So let's look at the MPC drum content like we did earlier on the other side. And here you can see here we have the same thing, except now we have a little triangle here which points to them, and that's programs, samples, and sequences. But the difference here in our drum content is I can just load a sequence in, and it will also load a program. Let's do that. Let's go to this one Buster here, and I'm going to double-click Buster. And now Buster loads in the program and sequence. Let's press play start. Let's stop it. Now, you'll notice here we have audio levels coming out. This is one and two right here. I want to bring this down. So I saw it hit the red there a little bit. And see it hit red here. You don't want to hit red. You want to keep your audio levels nice and level. A little low so you can hear them. There you go. You'll see the pads are blinking based on the velocity levels of how hard the pad was hit. You'll see here in the grid, got some stuff going on, like little dots and dashes here, right? And these are all events. And the pads here have sounds on it, right? You can hit your pad on your MPC Touch 2 and get the same effect. Here we have the banks. So we can have 16 pads. And we can have A through H. That gives us 128 possible sound slots on pads. So this is bank A, B, C, D, up to bank H. But currently, the program we loaded in, which is Buster, gets us 16 sounds. You can see it right here on the grid too as well. If you look on your grid here, you'll see it right there. The last sound is this sound here. So I can look right there and hear sounds. That's pretty good. Now, come back to here, close this out, and then look at the next thing. We also have a loop library. So here's a loop library. I can just click on something here. And these are loops, factory content. See, it says that right there that Akai has given us. And it's somewhat labeled and it's in alphabetical order what they have a d e f j m and so on as you can see right there and you can pull a loop out let's get a loop back see i can take a loop out of here let me find a loop here or something anything a drum loop this would be good i can take this loop and grab it and put it someplace so i can always grab a audio file and place it right there in the grid it's right there So, it's a much easier way to put stuff on the grid or make sure it gets to the pad. You can see here, once I went there, it went to bank B. Be aware of that. That's important to know how the software works.